सो हेलो एवरी वन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट डेटा व्यू सो इन सेल्स फोर्स मार्केटिंग क्लाउड एनी थिंग फॉर फॉर रिपोर्टिंग पर्पजेज देर आर आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स रिपोर्ट्स राइट बट अ केस माइट अराइज वेन यू हैव टू क्रिएट सम रिपोर्ट्स विच रिक्वायर सम फील्ड्स विच आर अदरवाइज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन द आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स रिपोर्ट्स विच आर अवेलेबल सो इन सच अ केस डेटा व्यूज इज समथिंग विच विल हेल्प यू आउट ओके सो क्लाइंट समटाइम्स वॉन्ट टू वॉन्ट सम डेटा अलॉन्ग अलॉन्ग विथ द डेटा विच adjust which uh, which is already there in their use case uh, business use case so they wants uh, to uh, join those two datas and want uh, a particular report let's say so in such a scenario uh, data views uh, could help you out uh, also uh, some internal data like uh, bounce data or uh, why the uh, j- uh, emails have failed which are the users who have not received an email or who are uh, the people who click the emails after an email sent all this type of things could be extracted from this data view using uh, query activity uh, in automation studio okay so let's jump uh, into this session but uh, before going uh, further uh, a quick introduction about myself i am prithviraj and i have been working in salesforce marketing cloud for more than 3 years uh, that's a pretty much about myself so in this video we will uh, first of all see what is data view so what is data view data view i have as i have already said data view actually is uh, to uh, query uh, some data which are otherwise not present uh, directly out of the box in the reports but uh, you can extract that data from internal Uh, from in inside the application uh, but you can extract that uh, using the uh, queries uh, which are pre- uh, which you will be writing so i in a moment i will show you the queries what is uh, how you have to write those and all uh, so it's used for creating custom reports okay so there are multiple types of data views bounce job click journey open sent all forms of data reports here are some which i have shown but there are many uh, uh, there is a complete chart which is uh, provided i will uh, share in uh, upcoming slides and uh, you can extract the data and whatever uh, is the business use case and you can generate reports you can also uh, one more uh, thing is you can also after generating the report using cloud pages you can also visualize those data uh, using let's say charges or anything you can do that as well so that is one more thing uh, so if the you if the user if let's say the client wants uh, after the extraction of the report the client just wants one link uh, and uh, so you can uh, always after extracting those data storing in the data extension you can then uh, look up all those data in uh, a cloud page using m script or ssjs and you can display those data inside uh, the cloud page and uh, you can also use chart js or any library and you can display that data and uh, the client uh, you can uh, help your client out so this is th- the thing then uh, jobs data view uh, uh, for every um, for every date uh, email or sms whatever it is uh, there is a job id so based on the job id you can uh you can extract the data so there are uh, multiple data views as i have said there is bounce so this data view uh helps you extract the uh, bounced uh, data okay to uh, to view the bounced data for emails from the marketing cloud account query the bounced data view in automation studio so basically querying uh, using the bounced data view you can basically extract all those emails uh all those users who did not receive your email because uh, there was some hard bounce soft bounce or whatever okay uh from journey data view you can extract uh, i have an example in further slide so uh, w- uh, what you can do is uh, in journey data view you can extract uh, all those uh, uh, details uh, related to a particular journey uh, all the emails uh, who have no, uh, uh, let's say who have opened uh, in a particular journey or whatever uh, is the use case you can extract all those data so uh, 
before proceeding uh, you uh, i was even i uh, was searching then i found out that where is exactly the job id so the job id you will find it inside my tracking so inside my tracking you will find a job id for a particular email uh, or sms uh, whatever but uh, uh, you will get that uh, job id and using that job id you can uh, write your query and you can extract data for a particular email let's say you have sent out an email and you want to see who are the people who have opened that uh, that email and uh, if they have opened that email either you want to put them in an uh, data extension and uh, put it in a suppression list or an exclusion list and do not want to send them email further again or just in case uh, if they have clicked the email you want to communicate further information and to convince them to buy a product so for this type of use case you can uh, use job id to get that data so here is an exa uh, example where you have a query activity uh, and inside the query activity we have a query and what is this basically doing is for a particular job id which is 1 2 3 4 5 uh, for an example so it is uh, bringing out all those subscribers who have opened who have opened that uh, email particular email with the job id 1 2 3 4 5 and it will uh, put it inside a data extension and now using that a subscriber list you can further communicate information so this is uh, now this is a very 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 important uh, slide and uh, uh, luckily i found this information from this website uh, by zuzuna and uh, uh, this is really really helpful so i just uh, included this in my slide and uh, this actually uh, will help uh, you uh, also while writing your queries so let's say uh, while you are writing for for journey builder and uh, you can always see the mapping of primary keys so it's version id and there is all these job ids are the primary keys they say how they are related all those information you will get it over here so these are all the um, these are all the uh, data views which are available okay so here is a query and i will explain you this query so this is actually a query to extract all the job ids for emails uh, emails which are sent for a particular journey so if you see all this information uh, is being extracted okay from this journey activity which is this particular data view this particular data view journey activity inner join which is joining with the journey uh, data view this is the journey data view it's joining there and on what they are joining on version id okay so they are joining on version id this is version id they are joining on that and then left join they are joining again with job now how they will join using trigger send definition id now if you look that's why i said that this is a blessing in disguise uh, for uh, the people who are working in uh, data views so this slide actually will help you so uh, see journey activity object id is mapping to triggers and definition object id so here is uh, on journey activity object id equals job dot triggers and definition object id and here are the conditions so what is the condition so the condition is where the uh, where it's email and uh, where it's email and the particular uh, it's uh, not uh, uh, the object id is not null uh, or something like that and then the journey name here you will provide your particular journey name for whom you are uh, looking for all the uh, job ids all the emails which are present inside that journey so and all those information so this is one example now uh, we will look at how uh, we send this data to a client okay so let's say it's a very small information you can obviously store it inside a data extension and then what you can do is you can always click on export export it but just in case let's say it's a huge amount of data and you don't want to and you can't export then right uh, there is no option to do that then what you will do is uh, you will go ahead and click uh, let's read this uh, use case so business wants uh, details related to sends open clicks and bounces 
and uh, uh, which are present in the data extension with a common primary key as subscriber key they want uh, this custom report to be sent out every weekend okay so every weekend they want this to be sent out so in a, such a scenario you will use automation studio and first of all you will have this query where you will have your query running okay so whatever you see your query uh, related to data view you will have it over here then you will have it at have a data extract now what data extract will do is it will take your data extension and uh, put it in safe house safe house is kind of a black box you can't access but it's for safety that uh, first uh, you have to transfer it to safe house then from there it will get transferred using file transfer activity so after this query activity is transferred to uh, safe house then data after data extract activity there is a file transfer activity which will then transfer that file on and you can schedule it uh, by clicking on configure you can schedule it to run weekly and this automation will run weekly generate this report put it in a particular data extension and this data extract activity will be of type data extension and uh, you will uh, put it inside safe house and from there it will uh, be sent uh, to a file ftp folder from which the client can download and after this you can also include an email notification of type uh, uh, there is a email type uh, of activity and you can include that so that the client gets notified that the, uh, the report is ready and uh, uh, for him to look okay so this is a business use case and that's from my end so hope you enjoyed this video you learned something from it so thank you everyone bye